Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. How are you? In this reading, I will be looking at your current energies, the person in your mind, the next new person coming in, and other important details. If you're new to the channel, welcome as well, and I invite you to subscribe because I post daily. Also, if you have any feedback or suggestions about the channel, you can write me at the feedback link that is in the description box below this video. Okay, let's start by shuffling the deck five times. Two more shuffles. And let's begin with the energies around you. Trying to move on from this. If you might have been indecisive, confused in the past, you're trying to move on from this because there's too much insecurity, doubts, not feeling quite confident, not feeling that you are dealing with somebody that is honest, that has a genuine connection or feelings there, especially if they are giving you the impression that they are ignoring you. What is happening in your subconscious that you might not be aware of, you still have that desire and passion for that connection and you might have hoped to see some manifestation, good manifestation of that uh, connection. Uh, what was the main challenge in the past? The lovers. It was a very passionate connection, indeed. There was uh, lots of strong chemistry, but uh, there was not too much focus, at least from one of the partners trying to play the field or thinking the grass was greener on the other side of the fence and possibly that's why the disconnection happened. You're trying to be more logical. You were invested deeply emotionally into the connection. Overall, you're very deeply inv invested emotionally into a connection. Uh, but you have learned that uh, somehow you don't see the blind spots when you are so emotionally involved. That's why you want to be more logical and let more the mind control or be in charge of the connection in order not to make any mistakes or to have a clearer picture. And you fear that the connection with this person might have heavily been damaged and might have revealed to you that this is not stable in its foundation. That's why it lacks optimism for uh, an energy of rebuilding it. Because when it is not solid in its foundation, it doesn't promise something long term. And um, it's something in that you don't like when you see and reflect that how many cracks and uh, damages it has as a connection overall. But let's see about this person that is currently in your mind. What are their current energies towards you? They're trying to move on from this and keep the distance while they keep looking back from time to time so they think about you, but they're just trying to move on. Do they still have attraction uh, and desire for you? Yes, and it is very strong still, and sometimes they think about starting a new passion and beginning with you, but they're trying to move on, and they haven't moved on energetically. It has been not successful for them to move on from this energetically. What is on their mind about returning? They keep thinking about returning. They keep thinking about seeing you back. And uh, they feel very alone. Even if they are in a new connection or with somebody new. With this two of ones. They might be with somebody. Or they will be with somebody. But still, it will feel to them like they are alone. Single in the connection. What is in their subconscious happening? They miss you a lot. They might dream about you as well. They have nostalgia about the past. Six of Cups is here. Do they have any plans of action in the near future? They want to make things right, but they don't know how, especially after that tower moment that happened and changed the trajectory of this connection completely. They don't, they don't know how to make things right. They don't know how to take action to restore and repair this.
What is some possible outcome in the near future? A reunion. Somehow you are going to reconnect with each other. And this will be very important, especially if you are indecisive right now about the situation, because it will give you much more clarity if you should move forward completely. For now, you should try to focus more on yourself. Let's see more about this reunion in the near future, or reconnection, how it may happen. They, there might be some direct or indirect proposal of a new love beginning here. Let's start this again. Let's make it better. Let's make let's turn the page. Let's write something better here. A better new love story. That's the kind of premise and intention here. So there's some form of reunion happening in the future. But this person does not know right now how to take action or make things right. If you want to know even more details about this person that is currently in your mind, there's an extended video as well in the description box below with even more details about their current energies and some of your energies as well, if you are interested. Okay, let's continue with the next story. The new person. The next new person coming in, what is their energy overall? Might be a Capricorn for some of you, but they desire you a lot. They will constantly... Uh, think about you the attraction they will have for you will be very very strong and that's why they will be motivated first by this desire and attraction for you there is cancer here as energy as well uh, what will be their first impression about you they will see so much love potential they will see a bright future there i see a person that is coming with lots of good intentions and desires here what will be your first impression? Yes, you will see potential for you being in a connection with each other. You are not sure if this will be stable or not, but you see yourself in a relationship with them. You are just not sure if this is real from this person, if they are just uh, motivated by lust, or is it just true love? Is it true love from them or not? That is something that you might be having some questions about or hesitation. Let's see what is the possible energy the first month of this interaction. For some of you, this might be some. There might be some long distance involved or a long distance relationship or some kind of waiting to meet because there's this distance. Or it is just telling me with that three of wands and ace of cups combination that there's. You officially starting a relationship with each other, but it's not happening immediately. It might end, it might happen, sorry, it might happen at the end of the month or at the start of the second month of you having this interaction with each other. Scorpio, this was your general reading. I hope this was helpful. If you liked and resonated with this reading, please hit the like button and share the video if you want to it helps the channel a lot and i highly appreciate it also if you haven't subscribed already I invite you to subscribe because i post daily you can check the schedule of the readings in the description box thank you for watching wishing you all the best and i will see you the next reading bye for now